It's an amazing location. We want to tackle the energy transition with our partners and customers. My family works here for 65 years. Additive manufacturing is a game changer for gas turbines. It helps a lot with reducing the, the carbon footprint. Everything is focusing on the capability to burn hydrogen. So my name is Kolja Schwarz. I'm on this location actually since 2008. Um, started as a working student, so really started my whole business career here in Berlin in our manufacturing side in the Hutten Street. And uh, I have now the pleasure to actually develop and transform the whole location and all the setups of Siemens Energy in Berlin towards the future which is an amazing task and I'm very honored and happy to drive and put all the new perspectives onto a site which has so much historical um, topics to offer and giving us a huge foundation for this further transition. It's an amazing location. This uh, area where we are currently was founded in um, 1904 and since then it's a production site. And it all started with steam turbines. And when we look into the capacities of these products, it's quite amazing. So what it started is steam turbines of a power class of one megawatt. Over the time, the production has evolved towards the gas turbines. That was around the 70s, beginning of the 70s. And today we are producing gas turbines on this location with power outputs coming close to the 600 megawatts. So coming from a one megawatt class to a 600 megawatt class in the time frame of the close to 120 years. Four generations of my family worked here. My grandfather starts his career here as a miller. I started my career here also in this building for the assembly of the uh, veins in the uh, vein carriers. My son starts this year his career here in this, uh, in this rotor shop as well, as a fitter in the rotor shop. The biggest changes I see in this building was that lots of machines came out and newer machines came in and the digitalization keeps pushing forward very fast in the last five, six years. So the innovation is clearly on this location focusing on the development of the large gas turbines so efficiency is obviously the key to reduce the cost and the need for gas. And right now, obviously, everything is focusing on the capability to burn hydrogen. And therefore, it is essential to do a lot of testing. And that is also what we do here in Berlin, to test combustion systems on their way to be ready to burn hydrogen. We have been uh, testing turbines on this location for decades. So something we are very used to, but obviously we always need to upgrade and improve our test facilities as the engines are growing and latest now bringing in the capability to burn hydrogen, at least on the combustor side, is very important and one of the big, next big steps here. So the key enabler uh, developing in hydrogen and the, the main component we have to focus on is the combustion system. And there the additive manufacturing plays a key role because with additive manufacturing we can actually reduce our development times by 40 to 50 percent because we can just design a part and then print it and do a quick test. These test items don't need to last for hundreds of hours or thousands of hours. It's a, the short-term cycling of developing, printing, testing, getting the data redeveloped. Right? And these kind of topics we put in focus and are uh, key for the fast development into that field of hydrogen combustion. But we clearly see that we are in a position at a stage in the market where we see a shift and that's why we have also worldwide more printing capacity to go into mass production uh, whenever needed. Additive manufacturing is a game changer for gas turbines because with the freedom in design that we have in hand, we can increase performance of our current products, but also working in new um, 
components or new products for the future uh, gas turbines. Burning hydrogen as fuel requires different temperatures that the material has to stand for. And using the design, specific designs that can only be made by additive manufacturing, we can still keep the efficiency of our product products by burning alternative fuels. I am coordinating a um, consortium of nine partners working in additive manufacturing for gas turbine components, all from the region here in Berlin with academia and also industries. Additive manufacturing created a freedom for design and new boundaries, right? So it pushed the boundaries for design and ultimately it helps a lot with reducing the the carbon footprint, right? And um, it helps to create decentralized production. You can reduce the powder, so you, at the end of the day, you are uh, recycling. The enhanced performance or advanced cooling, it helps products to have a longer lifespan, which means you would need less products in, in the same amount of time. So it also helps um, to reduce the carbon footprint. And effectively, those products are better and have a better performance, which means they increase the overall performance of the gas turbines, which helps to reduce the, the CO2 emissions, right? So um, this is the way we contribute to, to a greener environment. So talking about the hydrogen and the capabilities again of our engines, I'm very happy also to share that we are already capable of burning 50% of blending hydrogen into natural gas in these huge engines such as our 9000 HL engine. And on the smaller engines, we are already at 75% of blending. So we are very clear on our path towards our target that by 2030, we can burn 100% of hydrogen in our turbines. But it's not about just the turbines, right? It is about the whole plant. And therefore, we have now announced together with the TÜV uh, a setup which is called hydrogen ready for all our plants going forward so that, so that we can really avoid stranded assets going towards the hydrogen industry in the future. My name is Nadia Hedrich and I'm uh, the strategic project manager of this Berlin site. Siemens Energy realizes that we can't do it alone. Therefore, we try to attract partner, customer, and also new talents to work with us on the energy transition. And we will still be a production site, so we also plan for the future to um, establish here an uh, electrolyzer stack production. It will begin in summer next year. And on the other side, we plan to build up an innovation center and education house. We want to concentrate all these partners and customers and, um, and uh, employees and benches in these um, innovation center. At the moment, we have four facilities here in Berlin, and we want to concentrate it in this site, in the so-called education house. And it includes the professional education and also the education or training for the employees for um, the transition and also for in the guest turbine. I guess as everywhere in the, in the industry and for us as, as people, um, the cycles are getting shorter and shorter in terms of the um, changeover and the transition of our locations, of our business areas, and also on the areas of how we work, right? All fields are affected. And now we are taking a second step or a faster step towards the change because um, there was a huge decision that we will actually bring our corporate center, so our um, CEO sitting in this location, and that was a game changer for the location purely focusing on manufacturing for the last decades, as I said, 100 years, and now adding more and new components into that ecosystem is a fast-changing impact, and we see it in every area. It's, it's how we work, how our office setups are. Um, the needs are changing because also um, the mixture of people are changing. That fosters innovation, so very interesting times we are in right now.